Hey folks, it's Laura with Rain Tree Nursery and today we are going to talk about how to prepare a hole for planting a tree. Now you may think this is a pretty simple subject. I mean you're just digging a hole, right? However, recent research shows us that there are really great proportions for allowing a tree to get established and anchored quickly and easily. Back in the old days, we were telling people to dig a hole that was deep and narrow, and that's not what's best for the tree. Current research says you want to dig a hole that's about as deep as the roots are deep, and that's usually about 12 inches or one foot, and twice as wide as the roots are wide. And a safe bet is three feet wide. For those of you who are sewers, you know that from your nose to the tip of your finger is about a yard when measuring fabric. So if you can imagine that's about three feet, that's about as wide as the hole that we want to dig. So when I'm getting ready to dig some holes, I always make sure that I have everything I'll need available to me right at hand. I like to have a tarp so that I can put the sod on the tarp and not mess up the grass. This is especially important if you're digging in urban areas and you want your lawn to continue to look nice. Of course, I have a nice sharp shovel at hand. I have a fork if my soil is really heavy and I want to poke some holes in the exterior of the soil to encourage drainage. I have a kneeling pad because, you know, why not? I have a particular tool that I like called a Hori Hori. This is a great tool for getting sod out of the ground, for knocking soil off the sod, and for general digging. I've got my compost that I'm going to be adding back to the hole. A third of what I'm going to put back in that hole is going to be compost, and two-thirds is going to be soil that I took out of the hole, which is why I have my trusty wheelbarrow, because I will mix that proportion here in the wheelbarrow. I also have some hardware cloth to show you. We have a problem in our area with voles, which are little underground rodents that like to eat the roots of newly planted trees. So I'll show you how we protect our tree roots from the voles here. The first thing I've done is measure my distance away from my other trees so I know exactly where to site my hole. In my particular circumstance, I have a lot of space to work with, so this hole will be 20 feet away from my other trees. I'm going to take my Hori Hori and put it right in the center of my hole to act as a guide. The next thing I'm going to do is outline the hole with my shovel keeping about a foot and a half away from my center guide. And I'm not going to dig that outline any deeper than the blade of the shovel because that's about one foot. Then I'm going to quarter my sod so it's easy to get out and place on the tarp. Then I'll go ahead and cut the sod, the grass, and the roots off the top and put the dirt in my wheelbarrow so I can mix it with my compost. After that, once I've got everything ready and mixed, I'll go ahead and put my vole guide in the hole, and then that hole will be ready for planting. And here we have our hole. It's the right depth, about as deep as the shovel. I also know that it's the right depth because I started to get into the subsoil, which is soil that is a slightly lighter color than the topsoil up here above, this subsoil does not have as much oxygen in it and it is not as biologically active. So we're going to try not to include that in what we're giving the tree to really start out with. The last thing I'm going to do for this hole here in our region is to include our vole barrier. Our vole barrier is half inch hardware cloth that's been cut about nine inches deep. And I'm just going to tuck this right in the hole, which is kind of why I have everything piled in the center. Just like this. And I'm going to make sure it overlaps a little bit. And then I'm going to backfill around the edges of this to make sure it stays put. Now, because this is really biologically active soil, 
this metal is going to rot away in a couple of years. It's not going to impede the roots from spreading out and anchoring themselves. That is why we're making a wider but shallower hole to allow the tree to be able to anchor itself firmly in its first couple of years of growth. And we're finished. We have our hole. It's the right proportions. We put our Volgard in place. I have my mixed compost and topsoil ready to go back in the hole. I'm going to take my grass that I took off of that soil and I'm going to compost that because that's still got a lot of good stuff in it. And now my hole is ready to receive my soaked bare root tree. Thank you so much for joining us. We will see you next time from Rain Tree Nursery. It's Laura and how to dig a hole.